You're welcome in the keep, as long as your honor is intact. Work hard as a hireling, prove yourself able, and you'll make pledge shield sure enough. Oh yes, from overgrown thicket, was it? Normally that sort of thing is beneath even contract work. But these days, if the payer has enough coin to spare and is insistent enough, we put it on the board. Good then. Interesting. You're not at all what I expected to find here. Oh, is that the name of this fate weaver? No, the Tuatha I was following killed him. I was hoping his corpse would give me an idea of why they were here. Now I know. They were hoping to find you. Knowing you, you're definitely involved. But something tells me I know you better than you knew yourself. Don't you remember me? I'm hurt. No time for introductions now. The Tuatha are still on the move. I'm certain that we'll see one another again. Soon. Be on your way. What happened here? Arden's dead. How did this happen? Why would they have come here? Why kill a harmless old fate weaver? They couldn't know that you were headed here. I mean, the stingy bastard owes me a week of drinks. Doesn't mean he deserved to be murdered. I was hoping to avoid this, but I think I'm going to have to take you to Delok. It's a sacred place to weave fate weavers. Somewhere that I was hoping to avoid. I was hoping Arden could take you, but I guess it comes down to me. No reason getting anyone else killed over it. Go, I'll meet you there, once I give Arden a proper funeral. This is twice now I've buried the bodies left in your wake. What's bothering you? Ah, the warm and welcoming Fay of the Summer Court. They were the ones who welcomed Man, Alpha, and Gnome into the Feylands. You'd hardly realize the Tawatha are the same sort of creature. He died before his time, but I can't imagine many tears will be shed for him. You tell enough futures and soon you won't have any friends left. Under the Delak ruins in Ettenmir is a nexus of oracular power. It's where the Fate Weaver Order was founded, but no one has been there in over a hundred years. Everyone thinks the immortal Fey are enigmas, but they've got it all wrong. The Fey are simple, far simpler than mortals. They never change. Even when their bodies die, they reform again, often years later. 
I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but we're going to have to go to Delok. Maybe something there can tell me why I can't see your fate. Get going. I'll meet you there. Thank the gods, somebody, somebody finally came. Tell us, are you from Gorehart or Dyden Hill? How many warriors travel with you? It seems you're not the assistance we requested, but don't think me ungrateful. I could... Uh, Kanarok could use someone of your particular skill. The town was built for those who made their living harvesting silk from webwood. Though dangerous, we had the bridges and magic to guard us. Unfortunately, that seems to have stopped, and we don't have the people or the defenses to hold out indefinitely. I'm doing my best to save this town. I'm sure you can see that. Those that make their living taking the webbing from the wood so we can process it. Most of them didn't survive the first spider attacks. The old forest is home to countless spiders. I've heard of a time when it stretched from here to Odorath. Legends say that there was even a terrible wraith named the Widow who ruled the spiders. But such is for children's tales. We sit on the border to Webwood, most of us silk farmers. Normally we rely on our bridges and an ancient summer fay aura to guard us. But of late, what defenses we have are failing. These monstrous spiders strike at us from all sides. They've even gotten as far as Yolven. A week ago, a team of hunters was led by the village's chief defender, Barton. We need someone to go find him and his party. Good. I have more information to give you regarding Barton and the hunting party. But let's not give anyone false hope. And these townsfolk are growing hysterical. Meet me on the southern bridge and we'll continue our discussion. He is too new to our village to have already given his life in its defense. But I fear it may be too late to save him. They are a strange, mincing people. No sense of themselves or how others perceive them. They're just too caught up in their own nature. The spiders. We've had an uneasy existence on the edge of Webwood. But never have we had to fear for our lives so. And our greatest warrior, Barton, is lost somewhere within it. We need you to find him. I need you to meet with me outside of town. Until... Unless... Do you have news of Barton? Have you... Uh, found him? Good hunting! Looks like the wrong place at the wrong time. Like me. No offense, but I've not much interest in talking or listening. Doesn't pay to get too comfortable with people in this town right now. Why are you wanting to know about him? I don't go asking you about yourself. You could return the favor. 
Do you go talking to all strangers, asking about their lives and who they are? Leave me alone. That's what I'm called, and that's all you'll be getting out of me. Survival is my concern, not who leads Kanarok. He's human, and all that entails. Nasty place. I'd get as far away from it as I could. Finally. Yes, stranger? You came from the wood? I, I, I almost can't believe the last time I was in there. It was when the spiders first came. Sorry, I forget myself. I'm Jennery Vorna. I gather reagents for my wife Silveretta, Canarok's mediciner. My wife! A damn wizard at the alchemy bench? Uh, or a damn alchemist? You know what I mean. It was something that my old dad used to tell me when he wanted to scare the deadlights out of me. Watch you don't go too close to the webs, Jen, he'd say. <laughs> the widow will have your eyes for supper. I always thought it was just a tale. I harvested the silk of that place for 40 years. I know its ins and outs. It was never a completely safe place, but few really are. But I have never seen the spiders act like this. They never broke into a man's house. They never crossed the bridges. Yeah, while you can. What's needed now? There's a lot I need to do, stranger. So if you've come on business, you should make it quick. The forge is hot if you need to use it, and I have a few items I can spare, but we'll need them soon enough, I'm sure. Just about the only damn thing that keeps the town from falling to pieces. Literally. It's a blacksmith's job. Doran is decent, from what I've seen. No reason to think he's not the man for the job. Mm, don't let my mother hear you. You'll have a mouth full of salt and your hands full of cold iron before you can reach the door. <laughs> All my life it was just a tale the old ones would talk of when night fires were nearly out. But it's... Well, it's becoming real. The widow is real. I can't say I know much about it besides the stories I heard when I was a boy. I spend most of my time in town as the handyman. But it's almost as if the stories are now true. It's like the witch has come back. Keep safe. Stranger, I heard you aren't afraid to pass through Webwood. <sighs> what I wouldn't give to be like you, to leave this place. I haven't seen my home in weeks, and I fear something horrible has happened there. It's a strange man that asks to be in charge in this situation. But we'll need to coordinate if we're to survive this. I, I am not from the town of Canarok. Not properly. My... my family... well, I came from the east, from a small farm on the edge of Webwood. My family was never that familiar with the history of Webwood. When we were fleeing from the war, we didn't have time to learn the old stories. But that's all they are. Stories. There's no reason to believe in the Widow any more than that the sun might fall one day from the sky and crush us all. My parents loved the wood. Genuinely. There was no war. There was no worrying. It was a simpler life for them. But... but it... They were not from here. They didn't know the danger to our farm, to our lives. That's just it. I don't know. I came to Canarok some days before the first attacks. I was stuck here. Our farmhand, Cartery Jake, stumbled into Canarok a few days later. He was tight-lipped about my parents at first. Then he said the spiders got them. Now he avoids me, avoids everyone. Something happened at the farm, but I can't bring myself to find out what. 
thank you. I, I will give you whatever I have. Just bring me news of my mother and father. I need to know what happened there. At Toff Farm. I need you to find out what happened there. I lost contact with my family when the spider attack stranded me here. Our farmhand, Cartery Jake, made it here a few days after the attacks began. But he won't give me a straight answer about my parents. I fear the worst. Safe journey. Garner or Barton, all I know is I need to close up the windows, check the... Stay alert. Garner or Barton, all I know is I need to close... Keep safe. What is it? Not much to say, stranger, even if you feel like talking. A story for children. There's not much more to it than that. That doesn't concern you, and you best stay out of my affairs. Glad that's done. <laughs> Hello, stranger. What's needed me? Does no one else see? The widow! The widow is coming for us, and her brood comes with her! We'll be food before nightfall. We can't hold this island, these few buildings against them. I run the inn here in Canarok. Nice, respectable way to make coin, unlike those foolish silk farmers. Maybe if the inn was in a fit state, but there aren't any rooms for rent right now. You're welcome to sleep if you can find a spare bit of floor. How most in town made their living before the attacks? Collecting the webs from the wood and weaving it into cloth and such. Damn scavengers. She's as old as Webwood and twice as menacing. She's the devils of this forest incarnate, that's what she is.
I heard tales of war and demons, stranger, but none as chilling as the widow's. And now she's coming for us. What are you thinking? That we asked for this trouble by living here? That we're somehow to blame for this? What did any of us do to deserve this? What could anyone do to deserve this fate? Widows spare you. So, you're the one that's supposed to save us all. All I see is another liability. If you're looking for potions, see Siloretta. For a bed, a forge, or other items, try the inn. And whatever you do, stay alert. He's my cousin. Distant cousin. But I couldn't care less who's in charge around here. When the dice are tossed, the only thing important is yourself. Wasn't from these parts. Came from the north, from Gorhart. Nice enough place, but if they think the woods of Otheroth are frightening. Has everyone become a child when I wasn't looking? The widow is an invention, a story by the gods sake. Since when have words been caused for such panic? Webwood has its terrors, certainly, but is it more comforting to give those a name, a motive, a legend? It's trying to kill us. That forest will be the death of us all. I've been thinking that since the first moment I came to this town. Not soon enough. Thank the gods. Someone from the outside finally made it through. I thought we'd be... Uh, well, I never thought I'd see a new face again. But it's good you're here. I'm Siloretta Vonner, the village mediciner. And I need your help. He's an eager man. Eager to have us all leaping to his call. Though who knows how long the village will last with such a leader. My dear husband... I know he thinks himself useless, but the deer has been essential in helping me keep this town in health potions and anti-venom. It's an old, old story. My grandmother used to tell it when I was young. It's supposed to scare young ones away from Webwood. They said that the widow ripped out her heart when she first found love, and that she has her spiders rip out the hearts of all who dare pierce her wood. Even the wondrous Dalentoth has its dark places, but the silk we take from these spiders gets a fair coin elsewhere, so here we stay. But recently the winds of the wood are darker, the air more thick, and now the spiders have besieged us. It's as though the witch has finally come. Normally, I keep a stock of anti-venom at hand for when silk farmers get bitten, but with the recent attacks, my stores have been emptied. There's not much to the potion, but because we've been in Webwood for so long, we are more sensitive to the spider poison than most. So there is an ingredient I still need. The poison glands of the spiders themselves. I'll need someone to harvest them. Good. I'll need as large a batch of the potion as I can make. 
so 15 glands or so will be needed. In the maws of the beasts that hunt us, I'm afraid, the only way to get the glands is to kill a spider and take them. It's no easy task, but the town needs this potion soon. Good day. Hello. Speak with me a moment while we're away from prying ears. Kenrock is looking to me for leadership, and I'm more than happy to give it to them. However, if Barton returns, that all evaporates. Let me put it this way. It is for the best that he is dead. Do you understand? He's a stubborn and superstitious fool. He'd have the entire town chasing shadows instead of harvesting riches. Barton has survived worse than this. I want assurance that he won't return to rob me of my newfound status. So here's my proposal. Confirm that Barton is dead, whatever it takes. I'll pay well for your help in this. Unlike Barton, I have some sense of what leadership really requires. What are you talking about? I merely asked you to find Barton within Webwood. Or what's left of him. Now, are we finished? Kanarok has need of me. I'm a very important man, you know. Good hunting!
good to have a dark and summer, so I made a night. Oh, they said, to Yalvin you should look, so I found Cathras. Oh, they said, you have no food, so I brought water. Oh, they said, you have no homes, so I grew trees. Oh, they said, you have no music, so I laughed. Ha, 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 ha.